Some of you listening to this might get offended because I don't plan on sugarcoating shit. <laughs> but you know there are just certain individuals that you know that they have a miserable life and they have a shitty mindset. And no matter who they talk to, no matter whose lives they touch, it usually ends up being negative. And so, see with those people, we have to be very careful because they are so good at putting shit in your head that sometimes it may influence you into doing things that you don't wanna do. With this fight, I feel a lot better. Thank you for those that reached out a lot and asked how I was doing, but with this loss, it felt like I got a broken heart. It was pretty deep and it snapped me out of the bubble that I had for a long time. So in the training camp, I, I was a lot more selfish. I was temporarily out of work, so I decided to work on my Patreon. I decided to continue to train and spend time with friends, talk to some of my family members. And so this whole training camp and this time around, I spent a lot of time making sure that I was taking care of my mental health. Up until the day of the fight, everything seemed like it was working in my favor. Um, my friends were there. I was talking to some of my family members, some of the ones that I stopped talking to, I mean, it didn't really affect me because a lot of it was dealing through the bullshit that I went with them. And at this point, the day of the fight, I had a big talk with my dad. So keep in mind, right, I, I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but I didn't talk to my dad for like, honestly, like, 13, I don't know for how long it's been like over 10 years, right? I didn't talk to him because growing up I had an image of who he was because I came from Mexico. I came here to the States And so I didn't speak to him for a long time. I didn't want to And then it was until like two years ago. I began to be more open to talk to him. So When I when I fought the first time I wasn't talking to him. So I don't remember talking to anybody that day actually and then this time around that morning of I decided to call him and he had told me some news that a family member had told him about my opponent and so that translated with concern so he was concerned about me fighting and he had never seen me fight before he didn't know that side of me until until I, I started being more open about my fighting and MMA and stuff. So he was more open to tell me his concerns that day. And the way that he expressed it was more like, you know, you have to be careful, blah, blah, blah. You see, when I heard his tone of voice, it put that concern in me. And keep in mind, this is something that I wasn't aware of but it happened the day of the fight so I was fine I felt like 100% I spoke to him and he told me the news he told me what he was thinking about this in the fight and stuff so that did put concern on my on my in my head see I told him exactly what it was and once we cleared that out I felt a little better but it still it was in my head and I didn't know how to deal with it like I didn't think like it was gonna affect me the way that it did and I'm not putting fingers on anybody because this is not something that I can blame anybody for this is something that I take full responsibility with but this shit does happen when every time before sparring I made sure that I was letting out my feelings letting out all, the, all those insecurities anything that I was thinking about I was letting it out with either like meditating, like sitting down and just taking deep breaths or writing it down, right? Or talking it out. And this time around, it felt like I wasn't able to express that. And it got in my head 
and I wasn't able to do anything about it. I didn't know how to honestly like even though I had mentioned it I just didn't know how to erase that shit off my head and sometimes we don't know about certain things until they happen. I didn't think that it was gonna affect me. I didn't think that it's just one little fucking comment was gonna get in my head but like I said I care so much about my dad that it put that concern in me and I didn't want him to be worried. I The last thing that I hate is feeling worried for family members when there shouldn't be any worry. Like there shouldn't be a reason why I should worry about things, like small things especially. Keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them. Nice, Nene. Which was that card? But then again, the only reason why I put so much, I put so much attention to it was because that individual that said that comment, I was not talking to him. And so it triggered, right? Something that I was not fully conscious of. And the only reason why this happened was because I was avoiding a conversation that I had pending with that individual. And so what I'm saying is that what happens when you avoid things and you avoid certain individuals, certain situations, certain things that you need to face, they're going to creep up in the least expected times. So there's this thing in MMA where you are most vulnerable when you're hitting and so as I was doing this with my life I was very vulnerable that moment because I was triggered I felt Watch vulnerable again so I took that comment and put it in my head and this happens because I have allowed toxic people get in my fucking head for a long time I did that shit and it fucking snapped and it hit me this time around because it affected my performance. It affected the way that I fought. It affected the way that I thought. It affected the way that I moved. And that's not fucking, that's not something that you want to fucking have. Like, it didn't make me feel happy knowing that I was not myself that day. I didn't feel like myself anymore. I lost my fucking confidence like this. And it fucking sucks, bro. Like, you have, I felt like I worked so fucking hard to build myself and who I am. And then the day of, it felt like I got fucking shattered again. And you see how, see the foundation of who I am and my beliefs were a little fragile. And so it's very important for me to continue to focus on what I believe in and what I, and what I do that makes me happy and not feel guilty for it. But, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I've allowed so many toxic people get in my fucking head because of who they are. And a lot of it has been like the family, like blood related family that I have allowed them to like get in my fucking head. And it, a lot of it is just opinions. A lot of it has been opinions and me being conditioned to listen to, to other people and listen to expectations and listen to to people when they don't know what the fuck they're doing a lot of it has been like ignorance and so i got to see that and i got to experience what it was like to turn myself down and put myself against myself and really fuck myself up <laughs> like i i fought right i still i had no chance to back down that day i had no chance to to quit because that's not who i am like i said before but then again i didn't know how to f step myself out of it and a lot of it it's been it could be like the lack of training and the lack of of mental preparation that I was missing. Like I said, this is not pointing fingers at anybody. This is just me and recognizing the things that that I didn't face. 
and I'm not ashamed to say it because this is what it is. I, I know I have a lot of work to do mentally in this fight showed me that I'm not weak. I, I have the ability to fight, but then again, I can be my own fucking enemy.